Hey y'all, it's Bridget Moses from Vincent. Bridget Moses, Godly Encouragement here with your verse of the day. Today we are talking on Romans 8.28 in the New Living Testament, which reads, And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose purpose for them. God promises us that he will work all things together for our good. They may not feel good, they may not be good, but he promises to work them all together for our good when we put our trust in him. God is a good God. There's no shadow of turning in him. He can be trusted. He can be fully, fully trusted even when we are cracking and breaking and everything around us seems to be going in the opposite direction of where he said he's taking us we can be sure that he is working those things out for our good i'm not gonna lie there are times where it hurts life really hurts where it seems so dark and there's so much fertilizer around you that you can't even breathe at times but know that as long as you've confessed with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, that God's promise to you, and he always keeps his promises, he's a promise keeper. He can't be anything other than that. And that he will work those things out for your good and his glory. That is his promise. And God never, ever breaks his promise never he's not like man where you know sometimes people say one thing and mean another that's not God God is the only sure foundation that we can dig our feet into and plant ourselves on and stand firmly on because he's the only thing he never changes he's the same yesterday today and forevermore therefore his word never changes. It's relevant today. What he said in the past still stands firm today. Still is relevant today. And he promises that he's working all things out. All things. That thing that's crushing you. That thing that is keeping you up at night. That thing that grieves you that you can't talk to anybody about. That thing that gnaws at your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions, and tells you that you're not enough and that you're never going to amount to anything. Those lies that the enemy speaks, the lies that you believe that the enemy has spoken, the people around you that doubt you or shame you or condemn you, he's working all of those things out for your good. That's his promise. He's never broken a promise to me yet. Never. And not to anyone else I know either. Now, I may have thought that, you know, something was going to happen. Um, and I came up with that out of my own desires. Um, and he's not bound to bring my word to pass. He's bound to bring his word to pass. He's not bound to bring, you know, my, my, uh, my understanding of what his promises are to pass he's bound to bring his promise to pass and he's never ever ever let me down and he'll never let you down either I promise that God promises that forget what I promise because that doesn't mean anything I'm a person I'm fallible too and even with the best intentions I mess up I make mistakes but God promises and he is so good he is so pure he is so on point he never will uh will um not come through on his promises and he promises to work everything everything what's left out of everything nothing everything um i am a uh, uh i had been uh raped when i was younger and he worked that out for my good. Not that it was good, because it wasn't good. But he worked it out for my good. I understand now 
what people are going through that have gone through that. And he's healed me from that. And I pray for that person that did it because I know that they were just hurting too. And he works all things together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. You have a purpose. God has called you to a purpose. If you have breath in your body, you have a God-given purpose. It's when we seek him out that we find out what that purpose he created us for is. And when we walk in it, it is fulfilling. Is it easy? No. But it is fulfilling. It's the most um, satisfying thing that, uh, that we can have. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my voice. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> so God is so good. He works all of it out. He works all of it out. That is his promise. And that thing that you're going through, that you don't think you're going to make it through, he promises to work that out for your good as well. You can't see it now. You can't feel it now. But he promises it. So you'll see it when the time comes, so long as you don't give up. So don't give up. He's working all things together for our good. We'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.